Hi guys, welcome to another episode of How to Tutorials by Level Notion Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can compress your Blender files. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. Let's get started. So we're going to work with this scene in this uh, current episode. I'm going to show you how you can compress your file using this scene. But for now, let me show you what the scene looks like. Her just made up some dates to fill in the missing months. So, was there a... Okay, so currently, this is the file size for this scene. The scene is named Rebecca Animation, and you can see here, so when I click on Rebecca Animation, you can see the um the file size on the right hand side of this window so i have about 229.3 mb okay so now to compress this all you need to do is you come to the file then you go to see as obviously you want to see the file in the compressed version and then instead of clicking on the save as just punch the end key on your keyboard and once you do that this other flyer comes up and you can see compress, you can see remark relative, you can see save, copy. So because I want to compress my file, I'm going to check the compress checkbox. And once I do this, I can then uh, rename my file to something reasonable, like Rebecca Animation Compressed. Okay. And then I'm going to click on save. And that sets reasons. So I have Rebecca animation compressed. To confirm if this file had actually been compressed, easily come to file and then go to save as and as you can see Rebecca animation compressed now has 100.6 MB, which means that we'll be able to save about 100 MB from our original file. So this is how you compress your file and um, this file still plays like the original. I can prove that to you by doing this. Just made up some dates to fill in the missing months. So was there a real safety issue? No. But did the checks actually occur? No. So this further proves to you that you can easily compress your file and then that without losing resolution or losing uh, vital information from your scene. And if you okay. wish to uncompress your file, you can easily do so by simply coming here and then going to save as now punch on the end key on your keyboard and uncheck the compress button so i can rename this to compressed uncompressed oh i should even uh, delete this okay so we have compressed uncompressed which is the original um version so it's going to take it back to the original version that we compressed earlier on but you can see the difference since i have uncompressed with this i'm going to save this and i have it saved so i have rebecca animation uncompressed when you play this the animation is the same and if I'm, I'm going to check i'm going to check the file size to prove to you that it has been we start back to the initial file size. So we started with Rebecca Animation, which has 229.3 MB, and then we compressed the file to Rebecca Animation Compressed, and then the, the file size for that is 100.6 MB, and finally we uncompressed back to our initial um, format, which is uh, 229.3 MB. So I hope you learned one of the things from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, and until next time, keep your creativity blending.